Good evening, brothers and sisters. I'm Rich Trumka. I'm the president of the AFL-CIO. And I'm a third generation coal miner from Nemecolon, Pennsylvania. And I'm here on behalf of millions of people who do the work of America. Remember, last week, Mitt Romney told us that he and his friends built America without any help from the rest of us. Well, let me tell you, Mitt Romney doesn't know a thing about hard work or responsibility. You see, we're the ones who built America. We're the ones who build it every single day because it's our work that connects us. So I want you to look around this convention at all the hard-working men and women who make this place run, the ones keeping us safe, serving our food, driving our buses, and cleaning up after the party's over. And when we go home tonight, the workers will be mopping and vacuuming and picking up our trash. So when you have a chance, thank a worker. It'll make you feel good all day. Now we know that every worker here in Carolina, North Carolina, just like every other state in this country and every country in the world, deserves the right to organize and to bargain collectively. And the Democratic platform, unlike its counterpart in Tampa, makes crystal clear that Barack Obama and the Democratic Party will fight to protect and strengthen this fundamental human right. You see, my friends, our country has a big job to do. We have to rebuild the middle class together. Our economy works best when it works for everyone, not just the select few. And our history teaches us that shared prosperity is the only kind that lasts. And we will have that under Barack Obama. In the 21st century global economy, prosperity requires leaders committed to creating good jobs by investing in our future, in our ports, roads, bridges, airports, in energy and telecommunications, and in our public schools. Leaders who are serious about rebuilding our manufacturing economy. Leaders like Barack Obama and Joe Biden. And we know that the wealthiest and most powerful among us, those who have benefited most in re recent years, must do their part to help rebuild America. See, prosperity requires economic security. And we will stand with leaders who strengthen and protect Social Security and Medicare and Medicaid, not those who plan to cut benefits that working people paid for, earn, and are counting on. <laughs> Prosperity requires democracy, starting with the essential right of everyone in this great country to a voice, both at the ballot box and at the workplace the right to solve problems together, and to climb the ladder to the middle class the old-fashioned way, through hard work, fairly rewarded. Now, President Obama and Vice President Biden have put the country on the right path towards jobs and shared prosperity, despite the obstruction they faced from a dishonest, politically motivated, economically challenged Republic majority in Congress.
We face a choice in November between division and decline, between unity and growth. We love our country. We build it. We defend it. We wake it up each morning. We make it run all day. We fix it when it's broke. We put it to bed at night. Our country needs unity. Our country needs